22% of the registered fire departments in Texas are considered volunteer departments, but some of them depend solely on fundraising and donations to maintain their stations. Pro News 7's Marissa Lucero is here tonight with that story. Marissa? Jay, I went to one of those fundraisers this weekend put on by the Claude and Washburn Fire Departments. Both of them have all volunteer stations. Today we wanted to find out what major differences between the volunteer and departments and found out that it comes down to fundraising. When it comes to training and certification, there's not much difference between those two kind of departments. But money is a major difference. Volunteer stations receive no funding from the state. Most of the time, volunteer fire departments don't have the the political support, you know, that they that they really need to be able to function. Right now, paid firefighters attend the fire academy, pass state exams, and receive their certification from the Texas Commission on Fire Protection. But according to Chief Lake, volunteer firefighters are studying the same material, taking the same exams, but they're paying for their own training. You have state organizations, either the Texas Fire Commission or the State Firemen's and Fire Marshals Association, that actually certifies your training hours. So you're finding now that instructors are certified uh, the members are, are becoming certified in their, in their area, such as firefighter, basic structural firefighter, wildland firefighter. Those certifications are now available, and you see a lot of volunteer departments that are uh, trained and equipped well enough that they're achieving those certifications. The Potter County Fire Department has been fortunate to receive funds the past few years and limit their amount of fundraisers. But what about those departments that depend on fundraisers just to keep up their houses? Really, fire departments have a hard time. Uh, a lot of times they depend solely on fundraisers. Sometimes they can get grants, but those grants are very specific as to what they can be used for. And there's always that day-to-day -day need that our firefighters have. Washburn and Claude Fire Departments put together a 5K run to help their stations have just the most basic necessities. This will help out tremendously. Uh, it'll go towards training and equipment. And for Chief Lake, he says his men may be volunteers, but they're the most dedicated men he's worked with. Fire doesn't discriminate as to whether you're paid or volunteer, so you have to have a very well-trained and very well-equipped department to be able to, you know, to be able to do the job that we do. I also spoke with officials at the Randall County Fire Department. That house is a combination of paid and volunteer firefighters, and right now they say they are in need of volunteers. Jay, back to you.